In this episode, I'm going to show you how to unhook catfish without ever touching them. That's coming up. Today we're going to be making this $5 ultimate surf fishing tool. This side will be used for dangerous fish like catfish and sharks. And then this side will be used for stingrays to pin down the tail. Let's jump into this project. Now this project is very basic. You need a three quarter inch oak dowel. Now you can go pine, that's fine. I went with oak just because it's more sturdy. It will last you a long time. And I bought this in a three foot section and I cut it in half. So you need about a foot and a half to two feet, depending on how long you want the stick. You don't need it too long because when you're doing the flipping motion um, to use this side, you don't want this too long so it's too cumbersome. And then you also don't want it too short for when you're dealing with stingray tails. So first is the dowel rod. Second, you need one of these tool hangers. I'll put links in the description below. It's like a buck at Home Depot. And then you need the size 10 screw hooks. These are very easy to find at Home Depot or Lowe's. I think they go for about 60 cents. The tools you'll need for this are a drill with a smaller drill bit, two sets of pliers. They can be two regular pliers or a regular pliers and needle nose. And then you don't need this, but I prefer it just to have it nice on the handle, nice grip, electrical tape. You can use any color you want. Okay, the first step is to take the drill and your dowel rod and just in the center, drill a small hole. Okay, and then what you do is you take this tool hanger, center it up as best as possible, and just start working it in there, twisting it clockwise. It might take a little bit to get it started, but once you get it going, you just wanna make sure it's straight. All right, you can screw it all the way in, nice and snug like that. That side's done. Now I went ahead and drilled a hole on the other side, and you're gonna take these hooks, and with your pliers, you're gonna bend it. What you wanna do is bend it as best as possible to have this kind of a shape, so that, I'll show you how this works later, but you're gonna slide down your line to the hook to be able to connect to the hook. So this current setup isn't gonna work. You're gonna to need to bend it over, something more like that. Go ahead and drill the hole in the center, and then insert this all the way in. All right, again, this side will be used to flip off the dangerous fish without touching them. This size will be used for pinning down the tail of the stingray. And then the last step, if you wanna do it, is what I did with this one, is add some grip to it. Also some color, it'll be easier to find. All right, and that's the finished product right there. You can go ahead and paint the ends if you really wanted to. On this one, I tried out um, some Trek bed spray liner, but it was a little tacky, so I didn't wanna put it out in the heat on other products. So this is what it looks like when it's all finished. The $5 Ultimate Surf Fishing Tool. Again, this side's for dangerous fish. This side's for stingray tails. Let's head out to the beach, and I'll show you how to use it. Is this little flipping stick, this end, is gonna be used to flip off dangerous fish like this catfish. You pull it taut, and then you flip it over like that. That simple, you never have to touch a catfish again. This little tool I just showed you how to make, and uh, this side's for stingray, so if we get into a stingray, I'll show you how to use that, but this little tool, just pull it taut, and then flip them away from you. And then just flip it, and just flip it. Now this end of the tool is used for stingray tails. Today we didn't get a stingray, unfortunately. In future videos, I'll be using this a lot for stingray, so stay tuned and I'll show you how to use this. But let me show you the idea of what this could be used for. All right, so we'll pretend that this is the stingray tail right here. This is the body up here. So you, the barb is somewhere in here usually with the tail going out that way. What you're gonna do with this tool is just hold down the tail while you're unhooking the fish. So that way you don't hurt the fish, you don't hurt yourself and everybody's happy at the end of the day. So I'll show you this in future videos, but that's the basic concept of how this is gonna work. It works especially great in the sand where these sides can dig in a little bit and really pin down that tail. Hey, for more videos about beach hacks and surf tips, click over here and click down below to subscribe. We'll see you next time.